Hello, and welcome to the StarCraft 2 graphics tutorials, which is exactly what you have on your screen, and I really have no point in saying it again, but anyway, in this tutorial we're going to be converting regular normal maps into StarCraft 2 normal maps, because if you ever open a StarCraft 2 normal map, you'll notice that they have this orange shade, or actually orange shaded, um, it means if you have a normal, a regular normal map, you'll see that they have this blue magenta shading. And if you try this in StarCraft 2, they will actually not work. So anyway, what you have to do is go to the channels and create a new channel, which Photoshop automatically makes it an alpha channel. And uh, what you have to do is select the red channel, select all the red channel with the select tool, or just press Ctrl plus A hotkey and copy this into the alpha channel so if you notice with this step we just make the red channel into the alpha channel they are exactly the same and what you have to do now is go to the red channel and delete it and fill it with white like this and then select the blue channel delete it too and fill it with black Ooh, like this and you should be ready to save it so we're just gonna save it and do the DDS format and give it a random name like this so anyway that should be everything in this tutorial and thank you for watching and I don't know guess bye So, you've come here because you got the too many channels to export error and it has a number 5 in it. Uh, this is a simple, a really simple fix. Uh, if you notice you go to the channels, you have everything you need and you are just ready to save it in the DS format, but you actually couldn't. So, what you have to do is save in the TGA format instead. We'll give it a random name TGA and replace and leave the 32 bit spare pixel option or whatever it was. And what you have to do now is reopen that save TGA with. If you notice, the TGA is actually 4 megabytes, which is not good in a map. And with the random name TGA open you can now just save it with the TDS format like this and that should be done if you notice right here you still have in the TGA the same information you used to have it with the alpha channels and the red filled with white and the blue filled with black but anyway that should be everything in this tutorial or more like fast answer question or whatever but anyway thank you for watching again